What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to use our borderless WordPress plugin to create a marquee text element using your borderless WordPress plugin for free and your Elementor plugin. You can use the pro version of Elementor or the free version. The Elements works exactly in the same way. Let me show you an example of this element usage, okay? As you can see right here, in the bottom of the this text, there is a text that is that is lined up to the sides, or right here. This is a clear example of a marquee text element. Okay, so how to do this? Let's move forward. But before anything, subscribe this channel because we bring nice videos of WordPress design, marketing, SEO, and many more things every week. So be updated, subscribe to this channel, hit the like button because you're gonna like this. So, the very first thing to do is go to our WordPress dashboard, okay? Once on dashboard, we're gonna need to install and activate two amazing plugins. So, plugins, add new. The first plugin, of course, is Elementor, okay? Go right here, type Elementor. Install and activate it, and after this, install and activate it borderless. Install and activate it, okay? Simple as this. As soon as you install the both plugins, remember that I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I do explain how to install and activate it borders in very different ways, okay, in many different ways. But as soon as you do this, you're already gonna be able to create things like this, okay? Or things like this. We're gonna explore this later on the video, okay? Now, the next step, go to your page, add new, we can design we can design a new page or you can apply the element into a previously made page okay i'm gonna be adding this one to our visual mentor wordpress team so go to edit with elementor to edit the page Oh, just a note, in this tutorial I'm using our Visual Mentor WordPress team demonstrative website, but as a team we are using the Enzo WordPress team, that is our free WordPress team that you can download on WordPress.org and I highly recommend that you do this, okay? So, let me find a way to apply this element, I'm gonna apply right here. Review the left side of your page with widgets, okay? and find out the borderless widgets, okay? Right here, here is the borderless widgets. This is the exclusive widgets list that is growing for that as soon as you install borderless plugin, besides of related posts, custom post types, amazing widgets that you can apply on WordPress appearance widgets, you gain elements for your Elementor WordPress plugin, WP Bakery, and others coming soon, okay? So, I recommend that you install this plugin to gain elements for free. And now, let's explore the elements we have right here. Remember, that is a growing list, so according to the period that you see this video, because you may see this future, you're gonna be able to see more elements on free version, okay? So, select this one, okay, the marquee text, drag and drop into your section, and here is the result we got. Simple, right? So, as you can see, we have a marquee text, a text coming from the right to left. Here is the list, we can change the content, okay? Text 1, 2, 3, 4, and 10, or add a new item, okay? 11, for example. And we can review the settings. Start visible, duplicated, pause on hover, so if I select on on it, I hover over the list, it pauses. 
you can change the direction. I'm gonna do this later. The duration. We can make it slower, for example. The gap between the elements. And the delay before start. This is the settings. Once you already have all the content that you want to share, for example, a features list, you gonna be able to move to the style part. Okay, so into this new, this new tab, into the top left corner of your screen, click on style. And now we're gonna be able to play with the marquee text, typography, shadow, color, background type, padding, margin, and border radius, or even border shadow, okay? So, first of all, go to typography. Once on typography, I would like to increase the size of this text, something like this, 46. We can change the weight, okay? So, we can make it stronger, for example. We can transform the text to a capitalize it, uppercase or lowercase. We can change the style to normal, italic. And we can change the direction. The decoration. We can change the line height, the line spacing, the word spacing. So it's a very complete panel to play with. In the case that you do not like your change, just click right here in the back to the full, okay? This refresh button. Now the text shadow. Another options to make the text blur, the vertical shadow, the color of the shadow, the color of the text. Let me remove the shadow, by the way. The color of the text, I'm gonna leave into this color. Or maybe change it to a white color. Once I would like uh, to make these looks as bottoms, okay? The background type, you can have a classic or a gradient. I'm gonna ch choose classic. And instead of image, I would like to pick a color. So, here is the result we have, it's almost like in s buttons, but now let's change the padding. I'm gonna click right here to be able to increase the padding from left and from right. Here is the result we have. Now, no margin needed. We can change the border type, but I would like to change the radius, okay? The border radius. So we can start making a circle around it. So here is the result we have. We can even apply a shadow to our border and this is the result we have. Let me change the zoom level so we can see it in 100%. And here is the result. Now, I would like to clone this element and clone once again. So here is the result, but into the middle one, I'm gonna change the direction. So 
So here is the result we got on our page. If you click right here into the edit section page, you can, for example, stretch the section to make the section be full widget, okay? And even apply a new element. In the case that you do not want to search for the element, just type marquee. Go right here. Here is a new marquee. We're gonna remove all of the extra features and leave just a single one, okay? Let me type a text to be used as an example. I would like that this text move very slowly, okay? So, here is the result. Now, into the style, I'm gonna make this font very, very bigger. And apply a little bigger back gap as well. A note right here, you can change the font in the case that you do not want to load the, the full font of your team, in the case that you're using a visual mode WordPress team. Once on typography under style, you can change the font style, the font family, okay? So here is our element. I'm gonna change this color, okay? To a brighter one. Here we go. Let me increase just a little bit the font. For the things we need, a bigger font gonna looks better. And here is the element. Now, where I gonna be applying this? First of all, let me make this section stretch. Make it full widget. And now I'm gonna move this section to another part of my page. For example, right here. And why right here? Because if we make the element lighter enough,
we can apply a negative padding on their appearance. I already shared how to do this in a, one of my previous videos, but review on the YouTube channel in the case that you want to learn, but we're gonna be able to apply a negative padding. for example, a negative margin. So here is the result we have. We are able to edit the contents to make the text under it enter into the section to create an effect almost like this one let's work a little bit more on the marquee let's apply some transparency to the text And here is the result we have. Simple, fast, easy, effective, and for free. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes, downloader or Enzo theme or borderless plugin to these elements. Review the links that I'm gonna leave in the description of this video and into the first comment, fix it onto this video, there are links for a very useful sources, for example, places where you can purchase a domain name for 99 cents, a place where you can download design assets for free every new week, and places where you can purchase a very competitive price of your web hosting, so you can start making your site, okay, and your presence online for your business. And it is, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. I'm gonna be happy to talk with you, to help you, okay? So feel free. If this video added to for you some value, feel free to share it with your friends, family, because it may help others and gonna help a lot of us in the channel. And I see you later. All the best!